Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease ADPKD with hepat without any hepatic involvement. You can see the right kidney and it shows multiple cysts in whole length of the renal parenchyma. The main characteristic in the kidneys is the presence of multiple cysts resulting from the dilatation of collecting ducts. If there is hepatic involvement the, in the liver, the disease is diffuse and presents as portal fibrosis, dilatation of bile ducts, Crowley's disease, or a combination of both. Hepatic involvement is the most frequent extrarenal manifestation in autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. Liver cysts are responsible for most hepatic complications, but other liver changes may occasionally be encountered, encountered including congenital hepatic fibrosis and segmental dilatation of biliary tract. So this disease Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease is a, is a genetic disorder affecting approximately 1 in 1000 people worldwide and is associated with increased risk of intracranial aneurysm. The average life expectancy of patients with ADP CKD ranges from 53 to 70 years depending on the subtype. Now you can see a few small stones are also seen in the kidney. The autosomal dominant form has signs and symptoms that typically begins in adulthood. Although cysts in the kidneys are often present from birth or childhood. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease can be further divided into type 1 and type 2 depending on the genetic cause. This, in this disease, cysts, uh, it causes cysts to form only in the kidneys, ADPKD. Symptoms of the disease may not appear until a person is between 30 and 50 years old. Autosomal recessive PKD is a much less common form of PKD. ARPKD causes cysts to form in both kidneys and liver. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease is caused by genetic changes in PKD1, PKD2, GANAB, and DNA. JB11 genes. Genetic changes in PKD1 and PKD2 accounts for most cases of conditions. Now you can see the left kidney and it shows the similar pattern of multiple cysts in the whole length of the renal parenchyma due to the dilatation of the collecting system. Autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease, ARPKD, is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. This means that an affected individual has two genes alter alterations, mutations in the PKHD1 gene with one mutation inherited from each parent. So this autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease is a rare genetic disorder that affects 1 in 20,000 children. A fetus or baby with ARPKD has fluid-filled kidneys, cysts that may make the kidneys too big or enlarged. As you can see, in this case also, both the kidneys are enlarged. Autosomal dominant inheritance is a way gen genetic trait or condition can be passed down from parents to children. 
one copy of mutated that is change gene from one parent can cause genetic condition a child who has a parent with the mutated gene has a 50% chance of in inheriting that mutated gene so autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease is most common form of pkd ad pkd is affects one in every 400 to 1000 people and is the most common kidney disorder passed down through family members signs and symptoms can develop between the ages of 30 to 40 you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks